What's good, everybody? It's been a rough day. Um, small, short video for you today. I just got done uh, fixing my floater in the tank. In the gas tank. Apparently, uh, one of the black fuel hoses that run up gets to the side and gets the floater stuck um, so my car actually the the fuel gauge didn't go down past a little over a quarter you know what I mean like between a, a quarter and a uh, and a half a tank it would get stuck there in the middle and it would not go down so yeah apparently that's a little issue when it when with these things that people uh, fix um, so I got that done zip tied them bitches together so that shit hopefully that shit doesn't happen again cuz don't want to run out of gas because I did thank God the one thank God a gas station was very near me and this was uh, this was back a couple of months ago when I before I got tuned before I got anything done um, yeah, I was driving around, the shit started to stutter and it shut off. I was like, Jesus Christ, what am I going to do? Car broke, maybe pumps broke. But I took a listen to the pumps and, you know, when they got liquid going through them, um, the pumps make a very significant sound, significant sound um, when they prime. So when I prime the pumps, usually they're like, you know, they're pretty loud. I primed them and you barely heard them. I mean, they just didn't make no noise. It was just, it was like beep. I had to put my ear to it to see if the pumps were actually working cuz I figured like that AMS garbage in my car fucking took a shit. So, the brushless bullshit. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Remember that? They sent me those uh they sent me those pumps wired backwards and then I spent half a day fucking trying to fix their mistakes and then they told me that's not their problem so anyway I, th I thought that took a shit but pumps were coming on and I actually had the E85 uh, little computer thingy flex fuel kit that tells you the number of the ethanol that's in your car I actually took a look at that and it read zero so what does that mean you ain't got no fuel in them lines. So, I scooted my ass over to a gas station, got a little, got like a nice little bottle of fucking gas, poured that shit in there, started that bitch up, perfect. So, keep your eye out on that gas gauge. If you see some shit suspicious where the gas gauge isn't going down after you be driving for a couple days, Oh yeah, be ready to open that bitch up and start fixing and zip tying. Anyway, what the hell were we going to talk about today? All right, first part of the weight reduction uh, is done. As you all know, or maybe don't know, I removed the back seats and I took everything out that was back there that was not needed. And I went to... A and D. A and D upholstery. A and D upholstery. A and D auto upholstery on 60th Street and uh, like 14th. Yeah. 14th Avenue and like 60th Street. So the guy, the guy that owns the place, his name is Vinny. I heard he does good work, so I went over there a week ago, I gave him my rear seats, and I told him I want covers made, and he got them done in a week, covers came out excellent, um, and we got them on the car, so Nismo has a rear delete right now, rear seat delete, no more seats, um, looks very good, very clean, you know, very nice. So, came out actually real good. 
Um, let's take a look. Bum. Yeah, buddy. How about that shit, my friends? Rear seat delete done correctly. Custom upholstered. Let's take a let's take a nice look at this right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is nice. that right there mm -hmm. took the seats out took everything behind the seats all the metal bullshit brackets fucking everything took out close to 30 pounds out of the back and that's what I was uh, that's what I got from my upholstery guy he stitched up some nice black suede with uh, with red stitching you guys can't really see it, but it's a uh, very, very sleek. You know, you can't really notice it until you really like look at it. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Hold on, train. Yeah. So we made this thing super, super simple to uh, attach. We glued Velcro to the bottom of these things right here one top one velcro pieces on top velcros right to that stock um, pillar and I got some velcro under here that you got to push down real hard and kind of like massage it in there and it'll hold easy simple no bullshit no headaches covers on looking super fine yeah, look at that. That's just... Yeah, that's in the way. That's just perfect in my opinion. Real good. Came out real nice. Alright guys, that's the update for today. Catch you on the next one. The weight reduction continues.